Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Um, this video, just want to give a bit of um, background to what you might have been hearing on the news about self-employed people who had incorporated their businesses who are now sort of one man or one woman uh, companies. Uh, and and they um, have uh, sort of moaning and groaning a bit about not being able to claim furlough um, the corona under the coronavirus job retention scheme, and they can't claim under the self-employment scheme because they're not self-employed because they have their own company. Um, so, what's going on here? Uh, is this true or not? Um, sort of is true. I heard on the news that somebody said, well, my accountant said to incorporate so that my house would be safe and I've been paying dividends ever since, therefore I haven't got a salary and therefore I'm not allowed to claim furlough. Um, well, yeah, the accountant probably said something like that. I suspect the incorporation was probably not to uh, for the making your house safe it was probably so that the person could pay dividends instead of salary or a mixture of salary and dividends and um, because it's more tax efficient um, uh, you, I've got previous videos on on this paying you know, why, why you might want to incorporate and why you might want to pay a small salary and the rest in dividends basically because you save national insurance so uh, over the years and I'm sure in the years to come uh, if the rules don't change, people will continue to do this and they'll pay themselves, or should be paying themselves, a salary which covers them for uh, for state pension purposes. So it's about 8600 and something a year. It's um, 732 a month is the amount, I think, this year at the moment. Um, so they should be paying themselves that so they get frank themselves for a year of state pension. And then the rest is paid in dividends on which the tax rates are very low and there's no national insurance. So that's the reason why people have been doing that. It's, and that's not what you hear on the news. You hear, all oh, it's all doom and gloom because they've been left out and they, it wasn't their fault and their accountants told them to do this. But I'm sure they'll go back to that. Um, in in the future, you might be one of those people. So now, uh, what I did want to say: if you're not paying yourselves a salary, um, if you can do, you're perfectly entitled to pay yourselves salary and no dividends. You should have a PAY scheme set up, and you should be on the payroll. If you aren't, then that's a bit of a problem potentially because. Um, if you're under state pension age, you do want to be paying yourself a salary of at least for the year 2021. It's 732 a month, so that you're you end up with in, with a year salary of up to 8,600 and something, so that you're um, franked for that year state pension. Uh, it might not mean you might not think, oh well, that state pension not very worth very much, but um, you know it's not bad. It's uh, 8,000. Eight Eight thousand, eight and a half thousand pounds a year, and you know you might get it for thirty years or more. So um, it's worth worth making sure you 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 um you get franked for that. So if you're not paying yourself a salary and you've got a limited company, then you probably should be okay. Pay the rest in dividends, and you could can also furlough yourself if you're getting that salary. I know it's not as much as um as it might be if you were getting a salary of of thirty five thousand, but um it's still worth doing if you have been adversely affected and you're not working other than doing bits and pieces to keep the company on the go um, then you can furlough yourselves and claim claim that that salary you might also have a partner or somebody else um, in your family or maybe another employee working with you and do, doing the same sort of things so it might be a husband and wife company both having small salary and the rest in dividends well both of you could claim the furlough for that period if you've been adversely affected and you're not working as usual um, yeah so those things you hear on the news about um, are not it's not not quite the whole truth and nothing but the truth um, it is true um, but there's more to it than that and they're not telling you about the ta national insurance and tax that they've, been, they've saved over the years and will go back to doing so when everything get back to normal so anyway I hope that clears things up a bit and if you're one of those people I'm sorry to have a go at you I'm not really having a go at you I'm just um, reminding you really of, of the savings that you've had over the years and will do so uh, yeah thanks for listening and I'll speak to you again soon for another video if you um, like and subscribe as usual, leave any comments in the in the boxes below. No bad ones, thank you. Um, I shall speak to you again soon. Bye.